Hi, my name is Grant Hobson. I work as a finance analyst. Uh, today I'm going to talk you through some business maths uh, calculations and ratios. How to calculate the consumer price index, CPI. Um, the CPI is the UK's inflation rate for consumer prices. Um, it's, based, it's based on what's supposed to be an average basket of goods for an urban consumer. Uh, I think the government take about 600 goods to, to farm this and it's all about being in the same good over a period of time so from the same location just to see the movement in the price um, and we'll demonstrate this in a calculation now. Okay, so to demonstrate the consumer price index we'll take um, two goods, we'll take a study text and we'll take milk and what we're interested in is the movement in the price of these goods over a period of time. So in this case, if we take uh, three years, so you have a base year which is your starting point and that's where you're always comparing to. Um, so in this case it'll be 2004. We're going to go through to 2006 and work out what the consumer price index is for that period. So if in 2004 the study text was £18 and the price of you know, two litres of milk was a pound, we then want to track this through. So in 2005, the uh, same study text from the same area, same shop, was £21.50. And by 2006, this had become £23. In terms of milk, milk had gone from £1 in 2004 to £1.50 in 2005 and £2 in 2006. So what we're going to do as the calculation is basically compare base rate and what the total cost of these goods was at 2004 and get the difference in that to what they cost at 2006. So if we take as the quantity of study text, there have been two books that we bought and milk, we bought 10 items of milk. So in 2004, this cost us £46, which is basically You two times by your 18 plus your 10 times by your one pound. Six. So these formulas are set up the same, so you'll see you just take the same quantities but then you just take the price from the next year, the same quantities, the price from the next year. So we see that we've had a £20 increase in the cost and we want to know what that equates to in terms of CPI. So you basically do your £66 in 2006 and divide that by your base which was £46, which gives you one43 which we then times by 100 as a representative of what we are for the CPI. So the new consumer price index is 143.